Conditions coming in for your day tomorrow. We're going to see those sustained winds throughout the evening now. Outwards of 5 to 10 miles per hour sustained upwards of 20 miles per hour with those gusts. And then as we go throughout the day on Tuesday, you saw those peak winds upwards of 20 to 25 miles per hour. Those gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. So it's going to be a breezy day and we're going to have rain with that. So it will be a little little slower commute if you get some rain because that scattered rain with the wind could lead to some slower conditions on the roads. Now in the upper air level, this is what we're going to see tomorrow morning, the greens. That means 40 degrees above freezing for us as we go throughout the day on Tuesday. And then in the Tuesday evening, overnight Wednesday, then drops off real quick back to the cold air. We'll see teens for highs once again come the end of your seven day. In the Super 7-Day Planner, 43 degrees. We'll see the rain for most of Tuesday. A flake is not ruled out for about 11 p.m. on Tuesday, but overall going to be rain. And then snow for Wednesday and Thursday after that full transition, and the temperatures continue to drop. Friday and Saturday, we'll be seeing a clearing out, but the temperatures very chilly once again. 16 degrees for the high on Friday. As we look at Thursday and the snow totals, we're looking at those things to be the heaviest bands on the southeast portion of mid-Michigan and the north and northwest portions to be the lightest. Now, exactly how much snow we see, receive in Lansing, it's actually one of the hardest spots to pinpoint. We don't really know yet. We're looking somewhere between 8 to 10 inches, but definitely more and more snow as you head towards Jackson and the I-94 corridor. So to wrap up that seven day forecast, snow and busy the first few days, and then we get high and dry with cooler air for your weekend. Stay tuned to Fox 47 for your latest updates on that storm system.